Chess.com is here with Grandmaster Jan Napomnishi. It's all over. Let me first start talking about the game. You played G3. It wasn't clear if there's any good rook moves. So what were you expecting him to play after G3? Uh, no, actually, uh, looks like I'm in su such a state that uh, I didn't consider queen takes g4 check uh, prior to e takes f2. So I, th I thought like e takes f2, queen takes on f2, and then queen takes g4. Uh, so, I mean, uh, in general, I guess the game was uh, quite fine till that moment, but. Uh, well, just like uh, many games in this um, match, but I mean, it's hard to score too much. Then you, um, you know, make uh, such a little bit weird moves, which you probably wouldn't even consider in blitz. But uh, I guess my experience wouldn't be, you know, complete without uh, this today's game. Let me ask you about that. There's very few people on this planet who know what you've been through the last three weeks and all the months leading up to it. Can you come away from this with anything positive? Any takeaways about this entire experience of playing for a world championship? Well, uh, actually, my big concern uh, before the match was that I have no experience. Like, how do I split, you know, my energy? Then, when do I attack? Then, do I defend? And uh, yeah, I mean, it was not uh, clearly about a reason. Uh, so, I was really puzzled with uh, you know with a strategy from my opponent because uh, he never actually tried to to press he never actually tried to you know uh, play on for something real yeah so just he quickly uh, was, I mean okay he was only trying to equalize uh, every you know every position doesn't matter would it be uh, white or black pieces but um, uh, you know sometimes it looks like it's not necessary to uh, win the game at least uh, not to blunder and wait until your opponent does all the, uh, all the job. Interesting analysis of Magnus's play. I'm sure we'll get into that more. But finally, you've had a lot of supporters watching you around the world. You've acquired a lot of new fans. What would you like to say to them? Uh, obviously, I'm very thankful for all the support. And uh, uh, I also would like to apologize for um, the way it uh, uh, went in the end. But uh, well, I guess uh, uh, that's the experience I could only get here. And there was no, no, you know, no other place, no other competition. So, I guess, um, okay, yeah, I'll accept this and uh, become stronger. Part of winning new fans is showing grace and dignity, and we thank you for that. Thank you.